So I just got back from seeing the nun too, and man, it was crazy. We gotta talk about it. What's up, I Like Scary? We are back. I hope you're all having an awesome day. I'm having an awesome day. It feels great to be a horror fan. So you all, we just got back from seeing The Nun 2, and man, I cannot wait to get into this. Uh, this was some experience, man. I cannot wait to talk about this. If you follow the channel, you know I'm a huge Conjuring fan, and Valak is my all-time favorite female horror villain. We gotta talk about it. But before we get started, definitely smash the like button because it definitely helps. But to get started, we're going to be starting with my spoiler-free review. We're going to do spoiler-free first, and then I will let you guys know once we get into spoilers. And, um, yeah, guys, let's get into it. So, The Nun 2 takes place off of the first nun with Sister Irene. She's kind of now, you know, um, at another base with other nun sisters and stuff like that. And we have the guy returning, uh, Maurice. He's like the handyman. Or whatever but yes Maurice he's um back in the film now this film is very crazy now we know a lot of people came in this film with like low expectations because you know the original nun that came out a couple years back people didn't enjoy it they thought it was going to be similar to Conjuring 2 and it wasn't but with this one I'm gonna be honest I feel like you know they said, you know what? They didn't. We didn't get a, a good reaction out the first one. Fuck it. We're gonna go crazy with the second one. We want Bonnie Aarons to kick the door down. You know, as Valak. Valak needs to make a name. This is what you guys want, right? We're gonna give it to you. Cause holy shit, they did not hold back with this one. It was like, you know, usually in paranormal films, it's not like a lot of like kills kind of but man this was it was bro valak was on bullshit like man i love the overall story and plot uh one of the best twists i've seen this year in horror it, it's a definitely one of the best twists i've seen in horror a lot of stuff came for a circle a lot of stuff was explained without going too deep into detail and everything just connected and made sense uh the cinematography with this was by far super great i loved you know the old ancient buildings the roman looking buildings and um over in romania and it just it definitely looked it great just the tan buildings and matched the vibe of the film but to kind of get into it without getting into spoilers i love the character sophie i love stormy's reed's character as sister deborah she definitely fits um in the nun in the conjuring universe i was kind of like man you know you saw her in last of us the tv series and euphoria but she really did a great job stormy reed man i cannot wait to see if she returns back if they do a nun three i hope they do because the way this left off man i'm like i definitely you know want to see it and so it's a formiga man she did great as sister irene she always does great um and you know her roles and stuff like that but man i love the character sophie just amazing she sold her her you know her role bonnie aarons in this was terrifying straight terrifying valak she did her job. I feel like this right here was what we wanted with the first one because, like I said, I feel like Akila Cooper and everyone are just like, man, we got to give them something better. They deserve better. Like, they want full blown Valak. They want the real deal. But, uh, like, this kind of takes place with, uh, you know, it's, it's a, at a, another school and Maurice comes over to be a handyman and it just gets very dark due to him being attached to something with valak that's all i'm going to say he's attached to something with valak and it kind of starts you know blossoming out and you know sister irene is the one she's the one that can deal with these issues 
but this time Valak is more powerful, I feel, and she is definitely not holding back. And we got a lot of other side characters like this teacher, uh, Kate, which is Sophia's mom. She's very connected in the story. And it's a lot of unsettling scenes that we see of Valak revealing herself. We see of uh, you know Valak revealing herself and a lot of stuff where you kind of catch her in these scenes where it's like fuck like it's so crazy and man i feel like you're definitely going to be scared at watching this 100 percent. me and monica were in a theater it was terrifying the way this movie kicks off is terrifying man the the little guy i want to say his name is like jock the little kid bro that opening scene with him is fucking crazy then the credits come up it is crazy um you got to see it to understand what i'm talking about and it's a scene towards the end that really had my heart pound it kind of had my me had my fucking heart pound and so um this this right in here it is definitely far from the first one it's definitely way better than the first one so definitely if you haven't you got to check it out but if you also haven't seen the nun too you got to head out because we're about to get into spoiler territory i cannot wait to talk spoiler so i'm gonna give you three seconds three two one let's get into it so the nun two actually continues from no, the nun one basically and we find out in this story that uh maurice aka frenchy actually is still connected to valak due to the the traumatic experiences that happened at the end of the nun one where she actually puts the name to him so she's actually valak is actually in this story using maurice as a vessel with her evilness you know her possession and stuff so he's obviously a handyman so he's going from like romania to these other spots around the map being a handyman but in a way it looks like he's doing a good deed the whole time he's actually just passing around his possession and he has a goal that he's trying to find this relic he's trying to find his relic it's like this charm that the demon wants valak wants basically and it it's so crazy because they find out sister irene and sister deborah find out the relic is not just a charm it's actually from some type of history where a, a, another sister gets her eyes taken out of her you know her face or whatever and she gets burned they kind of set this sister on fire the sister nun on fire and she doesn't set on fire it's like the eye the eyes kind of like her eyes like protection from like demons and you know, like evil sources so sister irene kind of goes back and um kind of tell a lot of stories about her mom and everything what happened and how her mom got took away from her and she never seen her again and things like that of that nature so kind of foreshadow on things right there but so we they they you know the pope comes i want to say or a priest and he kind of contacts us i'm like hey you dealt with this stuff a couple years ago we need you to work a miracle and she ends up going to this this boarding school for you know females and stuff for little girls and and that's where maurice is working as a handyman he keep having these like spells where valak is coming in and out of them and it's fucking creepy i even get this part where he has like a cross in his fucking neck and um the teacher kate kind of sees it and everything it's freaking crazy but basically valak you know is inside of maurice due to previous events and he has this real cool like father daughter bond with the character sophie and she's getting bullied throughout this boarding school and we get this crazy ass scene where actually, you know, she sees this statue kind of, you know, replicating the Bob Sheet from Halloween 78. And the Bob Sheet falls out and you see Valak jump out. And a lot of these jump scares with Valak, they're not doing too much, but they are actually very, very, like, good jump scares. You know, if you saw that magazine jump scare, you know, we thought that was, like, crazy in a trailer. But we come to find out later down the line when we see that little game they were playing about how the devil is coming out that window with the billy goat or whatever kind of saying that this is looking at him and the eye turns red it is you know crazy when we see this billy goat start chasing him and the devil's you know it was basically the devil it was satan that was chasing the girls through the halls that part was by far the craziest part of the film um, Monica said that she thinks that scary action in the lipstick name and personally I do too it was a very scary scene he's like chasing on all fours through these dark ass hallways it has horns and he sticks one of his horns through the door and stabs one of the bullies I didn't feel bad because you were bullying Sophie she was like a cool kid but by far uh, this is way better than the non one seriously way better it, Valak looked amazing this Bonnie Aaron's killed she was actually very very fucking creepy in this um the way she killed that uh girl also in the hallway it was like putting up like vegetables she was like really on bullshit like 
Valak, the opening scene, she sets the fucking priest on fire, full-blown torched his ass. Like, she torched him, he's laying on the fucking, uh, the altar and everything, and basically, the, the, the priest's son seeing Valak do it, and Jock, and Sister Irene is kind of connect, trying to connect to him. The story's just so full circle, because you remember what I just said about Sister Irene, um, getting her mom took from her, and she's kind of looking... To, for this relic that's connected to this other nun. And remember she said she's never seen her mom again. We find out at the end of the film, which was the fucking climax for the end was crazy. It just had me on the edge of my seat with uh, um, Stormy Reed, how she came through and, you know, came on top with uh, Sister Irene and helped her out. But we find out when she tells Sister Deborah, like, pray with me, that it's like a twist where... Sister Irene's mother is the one with the powerful eyes because she's holding Stormy Reed's hand. She says, pray with me. And she basically, you know, she goes to a flashback with her mom saying, like, basically, uh, you have my eyes. Like, you know, and it kind of like, you got my eyes, but really, no, you have my eyes. You're my daughter, so you got the same, like, powers. And that explains why, you know, Lorraine Warren has these visions and everything because her mom is started with her mom and stuff. So that was very deep. And, you know, it was crazy because I thought actually, it, it, it was kind of like going over my head because Sister Irene actually gets set on fire by Bonnie Aarons, like full blown, her fucking skirt is burning. I'm like, oh, they're about to kill, like what? It doesn't make sense to me. But then we find out they try to set her mom on fire years ago and, they, and that was the like the, the story. She could, they try to burn her, but it, she wouldn't burn. So when, and it kind of made sense when Valak had her in the air and she wasn't burning, she, yeah, she has the same type of, you know, spiritual, you know, shield over her like her mom do to her eyes. So that was a big twist the whole time. We're thinking it's just a regular nun. We find out it was Sister Irene's mom, and that was that's what puts the stop to Valak. And it was like so fucking crazy. Like it was just so great of a connection, and, and it was full circle. And it just made the story 50 times better when you found out it was just like history behind that full circle moment. And like I said, Stormy Reed killed it. I loved her in this um film. Sister Deborah, her little backstory with her losing her mom and how she was following Sister Irene's steps because she wanted to see a miracle happen. She didn't believe in the most high and stuff. So it was very crazy. But it had a lot of side stories with Sophie getting bullied. And Maurice, man, Frenchie was terrifying in this, even though it was technically Valak. But a lot of the scenes where they kind of threw the shadows over his face and you see like you can literally see Valak in his face, bro, like with the shadows and stuff. And how he was, bro, he, it was a point where he's banging a shot of Sister Irene's head on the floor, like aggressively. Like, it's almost like he's on some Michael Myers shit. Like, he's just full-blown targeting, chasing him. It was just a very aggressive um, film, in my opinion. And uh, I really did enjoy this. By far, way better than the first one. This will be definitely rewatched in my household. A lot of rewatch value. Big ups to, you know, Akila Cooper, James Wan. Um, you guys killed it, man. Seriously, you guys killed it. This made me happy that you guys came back from the number one and did what you did. Great story. Amazing plot. And, man, just that, even that scene where, you know, you got Valak actually get, she's on some Incredible Hulk shit. She grew, like, fucking 30 feet in the air and she's like towering over sister irene and she has like these smirks and they had the scene with sister um sister irene just like you know she's looking at her while she's towering over and she's like smirking and everything and then you see another scene with sophie basically walking the halls and she opens this door and it shows like the flashback of the conjuring too and she walks through the hallway then they even threw the painting in there i loved it man the nun two by far is a nine out of ten for me. Uh, definitely nine out of ten. I'm real like happy with that choice. Uh, and I can't wait to see what you guys think about the nun two. It was definitely a great film. It exceeded expectations. Um, man, the way it ended, that whole, I feel like the movie really kicks up at the end from the moment you know the the bullies hear that noise in their bedroom, like someone stepping over us, and you know, and it, it's the fucking, and it was just crazy because they're looking at this 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 goat on this beautiful church window and they kind of prank the the sophie character like come in here and don't take your eyes off the goat on the window because he will come out and he'll get you whole time they kind of manifest because that's what happens at the end a goat is missing from the fucking glass and it's like running on all fours it's the it's literally satan bro it has the horns the, the the glow eyes and it's like chasing them that was by far the scariest shit that i've seen um in this film also with a couple scenes from valak so yeah guys comment down below 
what did you all think about the nun too and did and did you really enjoy this film that it wasn't what you thought it was going to be um like you know comment down below if you enjoyed it i personally i did i loved it. i cannot wait to watch this film again but unfortunately this is the end of the video don't forget to hit me up on my social media i like scary on instagram i like scary underscore on tiktok brand on facebook i like scary on twitter and yeah you are right there where it says join definitely think about clicking join to become a member of patreon get exclusive content and benefits of the channel and yeah you all i want you to watch some horror movies stay scary out there i love you all peace mm -hmm.